Hello again, and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today. Quick reminder that I run giveaways that are exclusive to my subscribers. So if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. A random collection of packs I will be opening tonight. Tons of Series 1 2019. Uh, searching for rookie cards like, for example, the Kyle Tucker rookie card that's right there on the top. Kopech as well. Mullins, a uh, number of other ones. Paddock, I believe, as well. We'll see who we can hit. I have a bunch of these. I have some opening day. Um, nothing super high-end or anything, but, uh, you know, it's just fun to open up some packs on a Sunday evening. So let me get started, and uh, we'll see what awaits us. Thank you so much for joining me either live or on the replay. Uh, as I always like to say, you are just one pack away from greatness, and I'm about to open the packs anyway, so let's pull some fire. Uh, with these 2019 packs, I believe they're all base, uh, at least in the past, they've all been base. But you know what? You get the right base card rookie and the right player, and over time, it could lead to something magical. For example, Kyle Tucker, um, was on, I think, no one's radar, unless you're an Astros fan. And then last year with the uh, Jordan Alvarez uh, injury, he got a lot of playing time, and he became um, in higher demand all of a sudden. <clears throat> Nothing more on that pack. Uh, a lot of these packs, the rookie is, like, right on the top, so you already know who it's going to be. But, you know, maybe you'll get two rookies. You know, you have no idea. Anyway, I, I don't know when you're watching this. Uh, if you're live or on the replay, but I hope you're having a good day, and I hope that life is treating you well. So we got two that time because we got a uh, Sean Reed Foley, <clears throat> and we also got a Fran Mill Reyes Future Stars. So there we go. It is possible to get more than one in a pack. Like I said, I have about 40 of these that I'm going to open. Uh, most of these are going to be added to the uh, bonus packs. They have my guaranteed bonus packs in the breaks that I do. What is up, bus driver? Thank you so much for joining me on this Sunday evening. And it doesn't matter what part of the U.S. you are in. It is now officially evening for all of us. I'm opening up some 2019 Series 1. I have some opening day from this year. I have an update hanger from last year. I have a Chrome uh, from last year. But I'm saving that stuff more to the end. Uh, I've been sitting on these 2019 packs for a while. And so I just decided to open them and see if... Um, I believe it's all base rookies, but like I said, there's a Kyle Tucker. We might get a Paddock. We might get a Kopech. Um, like I said, most of these are going to be added to the uh, guaranteed bonus packs for uh, one of my breaks in the future. So be on the lookout for that. Let me know how your team is doing, uh, what your luck has been like trying to find cards. If you have pulled anything super awesome, or just exciting to you in the uh, last little while. Um, maybe you pulled like a crazy autograph. Maybe you pulled a, a one of one. I mean, I never pulled a one of one, but it happens to people. I've seen it. I've seen people pull supers, uh, printing plates. Uh, even though printing plates are not, there's a there's a dude who's been pitching it out of his mind there. Degrom, Todd Frazier. Is there a guy who has played for more? teams in like the last four or five seasons than Todd Frazier. Last year alone, I think you had Cincinnati Reds card and a uh, Texas Ranger card as well. Joey Votto, meanwhile, has been playing for the same team for about 12 or 13 years because the rookie card was 2008, so that should be year 13. Actually, if you started playing in 2007, you know, sometimes you play a little bit early and then they get, then you get, then they give you the rookie card the next year after you played a couple of games. So there is a Adolis Garcia. Like I said, these are all base cards, so I'm pretty sure you can't get any short prints or anything cool. But, you know, we got the Kyle Tucker rookie. CB Baseball Card Collector is here. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, he does some awesome stuff over there. Uh, speaking of which, uh, CB, if you are interested in 2019 or 2018 or 2020 National Baseball Card Day packs, eBay is the place. Um, eBay is the place. They are selling them there. I've seen them. You can get them. Sometimes you can bid them down a little bit. Um, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know where Todd Frazier is playing now, but, uh, he's been with a lot of teams. Yes, I have been 
busy a lot on the old YouTube CV. Um, I have a lot of pre-filmed stuff that I haven't uploaded either. Um, what can I say? I've been a kind of like a, a, a low kind of weekend for me, like activity wise. And so I have more time to rip stuff. And so that is what is happening this weekend. There are some weekends where I don't rip anything. Like I'm busy doing chores or running errands or buying groceries or taking care of the cats or, you know, whatever. So on the weekends where I do have the time, I try to kind of make up for it. Check it out. He was a Met in 2019. Saw him play in Chicago. He's been all over the place. I wonder. It'll be interesting. I don't think it's ever happened, but uh, a player that's played for all 30 teams, including including minors and the majors. I wonder what the maximum, what the highest number of teams uh, a single player has ever played for. Um, yeah, your your Pirates are, uh, are at 500. It's like the first time in... Uh, in a while, isn't it? There's your Soto uh, rookie gold cup card. I'll sleeve that bad boy up. Um, I still don't think. I'm not sure. Did anyone? Does anyone really collect the uh, rookie gold cup cards? I'm not sure. But uh, I mean, obviously, like if you can get a variation, that'd be one thing. Um, but like I said, we do have um, bus driver here. His CV is here, and then there's a mysterious third person. Unless they're counting myself. Um, I don't know if they count yourself on the on the live stream counter, um, but uh, maybe they are. This year, if I recall, about 12, 12 teams. I thought it'd be higher than that. I mean, there's 30, there's 30 possible teams. So you think that there'd be more than just, uh, than 12, but still 12 is a lot. Um, considering there's some people who have played for the same team their entire career. Uh, although that, that is happening less and less than ever. There's a Dwayne Underwood rookie card. Like I said, after this, I'm going to be opening a little bit more exciting stuff. Not that um, if you're like a, a Series 1 2019 apologist, then you might be like, what are you talking about? This is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Uh, I'm a Pablo Lopez fan. There we go. Um, Logan Morrison, Zimmerman, Con for show. You have a McGuire Gold Cup card. I don't know. what Off the top of your head, what, is, uh, what does that go for these days, uh, the Gold Cup card of Mr. McGuire? There's a Francisco R.C. Oh, there's a Mookie Betts who is now a Dodger. CB baseball card collector is a Dodger fan, as it turns out. And his team plays well. Uh, they play better than my team, which, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, sometimes, they forget, sometimes I feel like they uh, forget that there's a game. Although they, they have a, a, a Hurt Soto. And so uh, it's kind of hard. So here's a guy who has been playing well who a couple of years ago, you couldn't even give this rookie card away in Cedric Mullins. People were pulling uh, Mullins autographs and uh, we're just like, ah, oh, gross. Like, what am I going to do with this thing? And then now all of a sudden, a couple of seasons later, all of a sudden he's uh, swinging the bat. Well, I don't know. I haven't checked his latest average, but he was swinging the bat. Well, to start the season, like I said, I got a few more of these and then we will move on to some a little more exciting stuff. Um, there's a Daniel Pulse Daily Own. We haven't gotten the uh, Paddock or the, uh, the Paddock or the Kopech yet. Yeah, I've made the mistake of getting rid of a bunch of rookie cards too early. Um, I've made the mistake multiple times. I should probably learn. But honestly, the cards stack up. I only have so much room. And then I get this kind of like weird anxiety about that I should get rid of a bunch of stuff. And then, of course, naturally, like once I get rid of it. Ooh, here we go. So this pack, we got the Loriano, who seems he seems underrated. He's a good player, and yet no one in the hobby seems to care. Uh, Michael Kopech. Um, he's back pitching after having surgery. Hosma. Hosma. Not much, actually. Um, I heard all rookies. Five-year plan. Five-year plan. So the so the McGuire Gold Cup card is not worth that much then. Uh, Chance Adams. It's like I said. There's a Brandon Lau. Um, yeah, like the Future Stars cards, the Gold Cup cards, the um, what's the other one. Uh, those like those ones. They just they just don't hold a lot of value. Oh, the rookie debuts don't tend to hold a lot of value either. I know that they like to roll out like eight different rookie card versions and stuff like that. The five-year plan is pretty smart, to be honest. I uh, I just don't have it. I don't know. 
maybe I could just, you know, put stuff in a storage locker and then not look at it and then check it in five years. That, that could be a, that could be an interesting plan, you know? That could be it. Um, Big Mac. Yeah. If you can get it graded, of course, if you can get anything graded in a 10, it's probably worth a good amount. But the problem is, like, as you know, A, it's hard to get things even graded now um, at all, much less graded high. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Like, I've never sent anything. Here's the crazy thing. So last summer, I got all these uh, cards. I actually bought card savers for the first time in my life, specifically to send stuff out for grading. And then there was like a backlog at that time and it seemed like it was gonna be months and months. And so I didn't bother. I was like, I, I don't want my cards used to be out there for months and months waiting to be graded. And then I waited it out and then it turns out that the backlog just never got better. And now it's like all the services are more expensive and either that or they're not taking submissions for months at a time. And honestly, I've seen some cards that at least on the eye test look like they should be a 10 or a nine. And uh, people have gotten them back and they're like six or sevens. And I thought, wow, I don't, can you imagine spending 15 or $20 to get your card graded? And then they send it back and it's like a, a six or a seven. Like, do people even want a six or a seven? I mean, I'm not talking about vintage cards. Like I'm talking about like they were produced like last year or the year before kind of cards. So, so that's the danger. I know, I mean, obviously, that's why there's so many reveal videos of like, what did I get from my, my grading company kind of thing. But man, that would be brutal. You know, you, you send in stuff for, uh, for grading and then and it comes back. Like you can, I think there's some sites where you can do uh, like a minimum grade or although just sending the card back if it, if it won't, won't make it, but still like, anyway, um, you guys tell me about your grading adventures. Have you had some that worked out really, really, really well? If you have some that worked out really, really poorly. Like I said, I'm going to be, there's the Todd Frazier again. I'm going to be finishing off. I got this much stack of this and then I'm moving on to the, uh, the more exciting stuff, but I had these sitting around. So for example, I bought these on the, e on eBay. I got like a hundred, a hundred of these for like 40 total dollars, including shipping. So in case you're wondering that, uh, that's where these came from. They did not cost a lot. So that's, that's 40 cents per pack I paid, um, including shipping for these bad boys. But the reason they were so cheap is because there's, you know, the biggest rookie in the entire set of series one is Kyle Tucker. So see 15 to 20 on eBay for that 19 graded. Holy smokes. The cost of grading is almost that much. There's a Bader rookie gold cup card. It's just crazy. Honestly, you know what? People are say people will say um, that cards are hot and stuff like that, but it really depends. I mean, like Tatis is hot and Acuna and uh, and Soto, but like there's a lot of players that, that are good players and their cards are just worth almost nothing or some stuff you think would be worth a whole bunch is just not. Speaking of which, we got some new products coming out. There's going to be some Bowman Hobby, Hobby, of course, this week. Um, there's a chance that the... Um, I had a Mike's baseball card review sent me a thing. He's buying a retail box. He's buying a retail box and it's not being shipped until May 12th. So I don't know if that means that the rest of Bowman retail is going to be May 12th or if that's just a retail display box. Cause sometimes they get blaster boxes first or hanger boxes first. RJ E N G is here. He is awesome. He's a big Phillies fan. He has a, he actually has a number of videos up on his channel now. Um, he also has a really cool squirrel video from about six years ago that is fantastic. So um, if you haven't seen it, it's a squirrel being a ninja and awesome. I'm finishing up. Uh, this is the last pack of 2019 Series 1, and then I have some other stuff. Dirt Rat is also here. He has a channel. PSA 10 Gypsy Queen rookie from your boy Nico for $13. Wait a minute. Someone just $13. It costs more than that to, to grade the card. What? I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you manage to steal that bad boy. Anyway. So that was what we got out of the uh, series one there. We're going to move on to the, uh, let me just show you the old recap. Um, nothing monster, but there's a Kyle Tucker, Soto Gold Cup, Mullins, Loriano, Kopech, and McNeil. I thought Paddock was in series one, but maybe not. I mean, either that or we just didn't get one, which is crazy. So we, I have a couple of, I've never put, opened these before. These are Japanese league packs. So Japanese first version light pack 2004. 
I believe that Daisuke uh, Matsuzaka was the bo the big uh, draw back then. Um, I just bought him on a complete lark, just because, let's be honest, I've never opened anything like this before, and uh, I just thought it'd be cool. So one pack away from greatness, and uh, I'm opening the pack. So let's pull some fire. Um, let's also not have trouble opening the pack. Although, no, I gotta use my... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I get it if it's like a super low grade, but a 10, like, I don't know why anyone would be giving away a 10 for uh, for like 13 bucks. So there, here are these cards, which I have never seen before in my life. I don't even know if you can get an autograph, but there is a Takayuki Kanamori. These are cool looking cards. There's the uh, back. Obviously, I can't read it because I don't, not, do not speak Japanese. Takashi Kawaii. There's a Shinji uh, Komiyama. And then it looks like a cool little foil of uh, Kazu Yoshi Tatsunami. That is a, a neat looking card. Um, it is a neat looking card. Uh, not a name I've heard of. Let's see. Uh, I've got a Top Gypsy Queen mini black parallel Nico Horner up for grabs in a future video. RJ's got a good collection, by the way. He's he's just he's just giving it away now. He's just he, he's doing some good good giveaways. Check it out. CB also does some good giveaways. Um, so let us see what is. Waiting for us. I only have two of these, so this is the last one. There we go. We have a Greg LaRocca, uh, one of the rare um, American ball players. Probably make that set. There's an Atsunori Inaba. Here is a Seung Yop Lee. And then it looks like a foil kind of variation card of Koyoshi Oshima. So there's our tour through the two packs of Japanese baseball. Uh, we have next. Walgreens parallel update. People uh, people do not like update very much last year, and I get it. There's only an Arosa Reina and a Grisham and then a bunch of rookie debuts. But these are the Walgreens. You get six yellow parallels. We are looking for an Arosa Reina yellow and a Trent Grisham yellow. Also, why don't we just throw in, uh, let's just throw in a Bichette, an Alvarez, a Nico Horner, and a Gavin Lux. Let's just go, go for the moon. So here we go. One pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the, the box anyway. So let's pull some fire. Like I said, Dirt Rat has a channel. Um, I don't know, Bus Driver, I don't think you have a channel, but do you have a channel, Bus Driver? RJ, you know, G has a channel, and CB Baseball Card Collector has a channel as well. You gave up on searching in the wild. So I'm not gonna, CB, am I not gonna see any more uh, sad, sad in the wild hunt videos in? They, they almost made me wanna cry. I'm not joking, like it was so sad. I was just waiting, like, one day you were going to hit the big score, and then it just, like, never happened. So there's a Trout. Trout has, like, uh, five cards in the old update set. Reyes, Descalso. One thing about update is there's a whole bunch of rookies of players, like an Alcala, for example. There's a whole bunch of, like, minor, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to insult them. There's a Solak. We pulled a Solak uh, variation card, and RJ ended up getting it. It's on his way to his house right now. He lives across the country from me, so I have no idea when it's going to get there. But it's probably not going to be tomorrow because it's the weekend. Um, Tyler White. Yeah, dear Molina. Oh, is this the Trent Grisham? No, it's the Tyler Henneman that always freaks me out and thinks it's the Trent Grisham. I got all excited. Um, says he, I got lucky in auction. I think nobody was interested but me. I don't know. It's weird that no one would be interested in Nico Horner. Um, but hey, I get you. I mean... If you're able to score stuff, you're able to score stuff. Good for you, man. Um, yeah, it's amazing sometimes what you can get on the auction sites, depending on the time or depending on the interest level. There's another, not official trout, but there's another trout. Look at all these trout. I just, it would be nice to get a trout variation card, is what I'm saying. P, J, Plot, thank you for joining us. We are just uh, opening up some packs. And hoping we pull some cool stuff. This is a Walgreens one, so we're saving these Walgreens yellows. I say we're saving them. They're right here. Idiot. Okay, well, we're going to do them right now, then. <laughs> it said, uh, problem with the restock dates and times out of the work. Oh, I hear you. Adam's card closet is awesome. Um, ah! So I, I spoiled the, the yellows. Look, is this all six of them? So we got five of the six. So nothing, nothing monster there in those yellows, which is unfortunate. Um, Lilith Rips is with us also. Anyway, Adam's Card Closet is, is awesome. He has a fantastic channel. There's a Brendan McKay rookie debut. Go check it out. Lilith Rips also has a great channel. Like I said, feel free to link to your channels or uh, 
or mention your channels in the chat if you are able to get more subscribers through my random pack opening live stream then power to you jake newberry there's a trout sliding god it would, just, it would just be nice to get like a really cool trout like a gold or vintage stock or something monster adam i hope you make a full and speedy recovery by the way um he mentioned it in his video but he got a stent um Dude, you work so hard, man. You deserve you deserve the best in life. There is a Jacob DeGrom yellow. I'm not sure how much that goes for. It's not even close to being his rookie. Adam is trying live streams. We saw his face today. Um, hanging on vacation. Yeah, I did see Adam's face today. It was just right there. It's cool. It's cool, man. Um, maybe you'll experience one day the, uh, the live stream failure that I have experienced. So here's a Chrome. Is it going to be a Luis Robert? It is going to be a Carlton Fisk. Ugh. Those chromes aren't easy to come by, so I was kind of hoping that it was going to be uh, something crazy. Carlton Fisk. A backwards Austin Meadows. Ooh, hello. There's a blue parallel uh, Austin Meadows. That's cool. I'll take it. I'm not sure. Uh, there's no uh, numbering on the blue parallel, but I'll take it. For the Tampa Bay Rays, we have a Hoyt Wilhelm. There's a Luis Robert. Rookie insert. Hey, this is a. Uh, I don't know if that pays for the whole box, but I mean, hey, what, like eleven ninety nine plus tax? So, Mookie Betts, uh, Larry Walker, Kaluber, Rendon, and Andres Jimenez is the prospect card. Honestly, for uh, an update hanger that um, we didn't get any crazy yellows. Not bad, I have to say. Not bad. I gotta check that meadow, meadows and see how much it goes for. By the way, I checked that Springer relic that I pulled yesterday. I don't understand relics. I just don't get it. It's only worth um, like eight dollars, including shipping for the relic. Um, CV getting near eight hundred subs. Hope you get there, man. I hope you get there. So value pack uh, update. We're looking for an autograph. We're looking for uh, Luis Robert autograph. Let's say we're looking for that. We'll take a Boba Shed autograph though as a backup. We'll also take a uh, Randy Rosarena. Um, pink parallel and a Trent Grisham. So let's just ask for the world, like I always do. One pack away from greatness, and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull some fire. If you guys are willing to stick around longer, I might just grab some more stuff from the back. We'll see. Um, we shall see. If you guys are interested, let me know. So we have Chromage, Cameron Maven, Rich. Hill, Kevin P. Lar, and it is going to be a young Carlo, John Carlos Dan. You're building a list of players to send to. Yeah, some people are really, really into that. Uh, really, really into that through the mail. So autographs are one every like 41 packs or so. So it'd be nice to pull one. It would be really nice to pull one there. Decades next of Raphael Devers. Got a David Ortiz, which means usually the autograph, if you get one, is in the number three spot. And uh, then a regular Jeter All-Star game. All right, so nothing great in that pack. But let's go, let's go. Um, I just got into the TTM game yourself. All right, time to pull, time to pull crazy autograph. Let's do it. There's an Acuna. There's an Acuna. Adam's card closet. He likes his Acuna action. Yadier Molina. Pedro Martinez, and then we have a Jordan Alvarez rookie debut. By the way, it looks like Chrome is going to be awesome this year. Um, it's going to be fantastic. I have a feeling that uh, Bowman should be awesome this year as well. Uh, we do have this pack here, so let's just say – I don't think you can get a pink uh, autograph. So let's just say a Rosarena and Grisham. Got David Ortiz and an Eric Davis. So they do look cool, even uh, even if they're not like super crazy falls or anything. We have open day. We are obviously, I paid, this is like $10.99, I think, for the whole blaster. I know it's opening day, not series one, but still, I mean, a whole blaster for like $10.99. You know what's crazy? I went to my, uh, my local big box store. They had about 30 of these. 
one day, three item limit per day. I went back the next day and there was only one left. One, one. RJ, the best thing. I thought the best thing about these live streams is watching me open cards. <laughs> That's okay, I'm not offended. I'm not offended. That it was oh, what should we open card? So there's a bunch of packs in here. Um, I only do flagships, but man, I wish clear, uh, clear or upper deck. All right, let's see. Like I said, after this, if you guys are willing to stick around, I might grab some more product from the back and uh, and rip it. But we'll see. I don't know. You guys, let me know. Opening day, of course. It would be cool to pull a Alec Baum autograph. One pack away from greatness. Also, there's these blue foils. Um, there's these blue, blue foils, and if we get like a Baum or a Mount Castle or something, it'd be super cool. Got an insert of Roberto Clemente, Alex Gordon, who is retired. There's a Tatis sighting and an Al Tube. Or listening to your jokes, pirates. Arr! 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 Yeah. I, you know what? Honestly, I need to come up with more jokes. Do opening day have many short prints? Opening day does not have many short prints, but there's a blue foil. And if we get, if we get a really cool blue foil, these are, I didn't look at the odds, but the blue foils have been coming like maybe only like one per blaster box. Nathan Rotunda, by the way, thank you for showing up. And it is a Tyler Glass now. I was hoping it was going to be a big rookie. And that is not a big rookie. It's not even a rookie at all, but you know, take him where you can get him. Um, I hope that we. Oh, sorry. I hope we get an autograph, but that that may be the only thing uh, in the box. We'll see. I have no idea. I have no idea what's coming. There's the uh, Braves mascot blooper, blooper, Castellanos. Let's see, Nathan, do you, you do you have a channel by the way? Uh, bring the build the community for sure, RJ and Kevin. Thanks for here for him. He'd be right. Very good too. <laughs> ah! God. Anyway, I did pull an autograph, even though the chances are. Terrible, but I did pull one uh, yesterday, so why not? I mean, out of a 1099 blaster. Dylan Carlson, oh, you know what else is coming out? So Bowman is coming out. Retail at some point. I'm not, I can't tell you when retail is coming out. I'm definitely not getting a hobby unless I can score one off the top's website. There's a Pache. Uh, I'm sure Adam would love that Pache. But Big League is coming out, and people kind of, you know, like opening day in Big League don't get a lot of love. But uh, you can pull autographs every once in a while at a big league. The problem is that they're, you can buy a whole hobby box at big league and not be guaranteed an auto. And I do understand the appeal of a guaranteed autograph. Although, let's be honest, most things now are either guaranteed relic or auto. And most of the time, we're going to get a, a relic because that's just life. Anyway, Josh Hader. Don't be a hater. Max Freed. There is a Castellani. It looks like the Dow. No, I thought, oh, I thought it was going to be a Dow back in. It's our JD Martinez. Messed me up. Messed me up, guys. I might throw uh, these rookies and stuff into one of my guaranteed bonus packs for a future break, just for the just for the sake of doing it. I have no. I haven't, I haven't decided. Sometimes I make. Uh, let's see. Goody G, thank you for joining us. By the way, Parker Hockey last year when I saw Big League, you got one auto per box. What was the best auto you pulled, by the way? One auto per box of a blaster or one auto per box of a of a hobby box? Great cards, they just don't hold value. Um, maybe I was lucky. So we have a, is, is it Kybert Ruiz or Kiebert Ruiz? But uh, there's a Ruiz. Uh, the Dodgers have a lot of catchers. They have a Austin Burns and they have a Will Smith. And uh, and they also have a Kiebert Ruiz, who I don't know what's going to happen. Because uh, I know Austin Burns likes catching for um, Clayton Kershaw. And Walker Bueller, and maybe even I'm not sure if he does um, if he does Bauer too, but he catches for a lot. So I don't know. Maybe they'll move Will Smith, but the problem is they have a, a crowded infield too. Let's see, hobby. Okay, we're buying hobbies. Okay, it's still fun. Um, yeah, I mean honestly, if I can get like the way we're going, there's an Nico Horner. If I can get some big league, I'll open it. I'll go for it. Why not? I mean, what if I pull like an Alec Baum? Or a Joe Adele big league autograph. Why not? There's a Joe Adele speaking up here. There's a Giancarlo Stanton. So, I mean, honestly, like on the scale of like high risk, like uh, opening day blaster box for eleven dollars is uh is not 
Yankees and paying 200 bucks there. It says it is a James Karin check. I know some people like they want the they want the you're not going to pull like an $800 card though out of here. Whereas like you buy a box of tribute and maybe you do pull like an $800 autograph rookie or something like that. But uh, but also you buy a box of tribute for $400 and maybe you get like $20 worth of cards. So um yeah, Aaron Judge. It'd be nice if Aaron Judge went the entire season without getting injured. Wouldn't that be Wouldn't that be fantastic? Um, yeah, and old Mike Giancarlo Stanton. Okay, I gotta I gotta make some room here. Um, I'm running out of space, so I will go over it in a, in a minute. But uh, we'll leave because Adam is here. We'll leave Christian Pache on the top there. We'll leave him on the top. I don't know. Is, is he off the uh, injured list? I honestly do not know if he is off the injured list. Um. So I'm on a, at the moment I'm running low on packs to open, but I have stuff coming in the mail. So it should be an interesting mail week for me. I got a whole bunch of stuff. I have uh, some 2021 stuff coming, in case you're wondering. But I also have some. Uh, I have some older stuff. Like I have some stuff from the 90s. I have some stuff from the 80s. I have some stuff from the early 2000s. It's going to be a wild mixture. I just I decided I, I went on the old auction sites. And I put some offers. I put some low bid, like some super, some super low ball offers I put. And uh, some people accepted them. I mean, of course, a lot of people countered. But like some people were just so desperate to get rid of some of the packs that they just um, gave me like a, uh, they just accepted it. Meanwhile, some of the, um, some of the more recent stuff has just shot up in price. Like it's just gotten crazy. Like 2019 Heritage. Um which you could you couldn't even like give it away for the longest time. It shot up and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's crazy. Pache deserves to be on top. Albert Abreu have not been home in five days. Where oh where are you? Oh, you're on vacation. That's why. Okay, you're on vacation. That's why you haven't been home in five days. It's like what are you talking about? We only have two packs left. Uh, you guys are still here, so I'll probably run to the back and then grab some more stuff to open because because uh, why not? You guys are here. There's a Hank Aaron. I'm not sure. It's just an insert, so I'm not sure if it holds like any value whatsoever. Um, the last pack of this, and then I'll go grab some more stuff, and then we'll see if we can pull some crazy stuff. Why not? There's an Ian Anderson. So we got both of the Braves rookies that are in this set. It says, oh, we got a blue foil. Is it going to be an awesome blue foil? We should see. Uh, it says, no, this is a rude-ish question, but how much you spend on packs a month? Um, it depends, honestly, on the month. Uh, eh. it's, it's in the hundreds, to tell you the truth. It's in the hundreds. And there's a Miguel Cabrera. But yeah, um, yeah, RJ, go break away and make a video, dude. Hopefully it's an awesome one, a new, uh, giveaway video. Miguel Cabrera, Blue Foil. Man, do I wish that was, uh... Man, I wish it was a cool rookie. But if you've never seen him shine like that, um, we still have eight people here. So if you guys are interested, I'll go in the back and grab some more packs to open. Um, so give me a minute. I have so much in reserve for pack breaking. Yeah, I saw you had your table there. There's a Jesus in. Uh, he should. He had a video where he had a table that was just like filled with packs that he had not opened. All right. So I'm going to go in the back and grab some stuff. I will be back in about 30 seconds. All right, I'm back. That took less than 30 seconds. Wait, hold on. It's just here. Um so I have another Chrome update, then I have some update hanger boxes, and that'll be it. That's all I have left until stuff comes in the mail. Um, and I'm saving, um, I'm saving the stuff in the mail for a future break or two. Let's be honest, it's probably gonna be the next three breaks is gonna be filled with stuff. Um, RJ's channel is RJ E N G is the channel. I can do a recap here at the end. One pack away from greatness. So let's pull a Luis Robert rookie card autograph. Let's also pull a Randy Rosarena pink and a Trent Grisham pink. Let's do it. One pack away from greatness. 
and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull some fire. What do you, Nathan? What so you see them at work all day and night, and they haunt you? What 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 haunts you? Did I miss that reference? So we have uh, an Ichiro. We have a Decades Next of Shogo Akiyama. If you've never seen the cool shine on these, it is neat. They are cool. There we go. So there's that. We have a Jesus Tinoco and a Brock Holt. So it'd be nice. Well, there's a trout. It'd be nice if it was like a trout variation, but I don't know if that's going to be the case, but it'd be fantastic if it was. Come on, autographs. Come on. So you see packs, where do you, okay, he says here, um, same here, I see them at work all night and they haunt me, but do you not buy the packs? I'm confused. Do you not buy the packs? And what packs are you talking about? Are they good ones? Here's the Kyle Lewis rookie debut. Here is um, Jesus Luzardo. And this one is going to be numbered out of 250 Jesus Luzardo refractor out of 250. Um, man, I wish it was the Kyle Lewis refractor number out of 250, but I will take it. I was like, this is a thicker card. Um, so let's get it in that snugly into that top loader. Man, it is hard to pull a, it's hard to pull a numbered card out of a uh, Chrome update, but there is a Jesus Luzardo. We are closed at night, so they stock them, but technically they can't buy them. Oh, do you work at a, you work at a pharmacy or a big box store? That's got to be a shame. That would be tough, like working at a, a place and not being able to buy them. That would be rough. So there's the Lewis rookie debut. And then I'll sleeve up a trout, even though it's just like a base trout. Um, yeah, that would that would be brutal, man. Um, I feel you. If, you. if you could see the packs, but you can't open them. All right. Now is the time for the Rosarena and the Grisham. The autograph. Because this is the last shot at an autograph. The last shot for sure. And I, I I keep thinking that though this is a Alec Mills rookie card by the way. There's an Ernie Banks insert, a Joey Votto, and a Aaron Judge. So nothing monster. Oh, thank you for joining us by the way, Adam. Take care of yourself. Be safe, um, and God bless to you and your family members. Thank you, of course. There's an Acuna pink. Look at that. Just as he says he's got to go, there's an Acuna pink for you. And a Yadier Mo. Yeah. So we didn't get any of the monster rookies that I was hoping for. But um, we did pull that Jesus Lazardo out of 250. Be interesting if he has himself a great year. Your daughter calls them shiny cards. But anyway, uh, I have three hanger boxes of update, and then that is it. That is all I have left. So that will definitely be the end of it. Um, cause I have nothing else, nothing else is left. Um, anyway, so one pack away from greatness and I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull from fire. You're probably wondering why do I keep repeating that? Cause I'm trying to remind the universe. It's important to remind the universe of this so that the universe will deliver. It says here, see Adam, my daughter called the tiger. The vendor is all over the place too. They stock the cards randomly on different days. That's got to be crazy. So, do you work in a place where they have uh, where they have minimums I and mean, maximums, or do you work at a place where like someone could come in and just like rate it, just rate it? Um. Anyway, so here we go. Obviously, there's six yellow parallels, and we let me just put it out to the universe. We want a Randy Rosarena yellow parallel. We want a Trent Grisham yellow parallel. We want a Bo Bichette, a Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, and then Kyle Lewis. That's what we're doing. Okay, that is Adam that I pulled it just as you were on your way out. Um, Acuna, honestly, obviously it's not as rookie because that was in 2018, but I'm sure it's it's probably worth a couple of bucks. I mean, there's the Jordan Alvarez rookie view. By the way, in case you're wondering, I um, I'm just gonna put this out there. So I. I'm going to be running like a massive card sale at some point. I'm not sure when it's going to be, but um, be on the lookout for that. The other thing is um, if you have a favorite team and you 
possibly want me to just like email you with deals before I even list the card sale, um, let me know. And maybe I can gather up some pictures and some prices and just send you an email. And, uh, and I could sell some cards to you guys that way if you want. And you beat the, uh, you know, you could beat the uh, line. Um, it's like I said, if you're interested in buying them, it's like stuff like, for example, I have like uh, Glare's rookie cards. I have Pete Alonzo rookie cards. I have uh, Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie cards. I have Gavin Lux rookie cards. I have Nico Horner. I have Jordan Alvarez. Speaking of Gavin Lux, there's a rookie debut. I have, you know, um, anyway, like I said, I have, uh, you know, Horner. I have Lux. I have Alvarez, I have Glaber Torres, I have Victor Robles, I have Devers, I have Albies, Carter Key Boom. Who else do I have? You know, so if you are interested, feel free to email me. It's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Again, it's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. And if you're interested in buying rookie cards for, I'm going to say it's going to be less than what you pay on eBay. Um, all the prices would be better than eBay. Let me know. Send me an email and I'll gather up some stuff and I could tell you how much they would be. Um, Aquino, my shipping is usually like, it's $5 for a couple of cards. Um, and then I could fit, I could fit literally hundreds of cards into like an $8.50 um, bubble mailer with, with, in a box. Anyway, so we're going to pull the Rosa Arena and the Grisham and the Kyle Lewis. Let's do it. Get it going. But like I said, if you want to beat the uh, line, if you have a favorite team or a favorite player or something like that, let me know. But we got something. And it is going to be a Miguel Cabrera gold card. Man, it would have been better if it was one of the rookies. It would have been so good if it was like an Arosa Reina gold. But it is a Miguel Cabrera gold. They have ours locked up with the cigarettes, which is funny because it's a different type of addiction. You aren't kidding. It is a different type of addiction. There's a Mike Piazza. Um, Locked up with the cigarettes at uh at the local the local big box store here where they uh the blue the blue logo one they put them with the hard liquor and uh, the cigarettes and now they have a one item limit. There's a Mike Trout insert by the way. They have a one item limit and I was just like good goodness. And Target next near me is going to a one item limit next week. And I don't want to say it's not worth it, but it's almost not worth it driving to uh, the store to get one item per day. There is a Gavin Lux. So like I said, I have a whole bunch of Gavin Lux rookies. I have a whole bunch of Aquino. I have a whole bunch of Jordan Alvarez. I have a whole bunch of all of these. And uh, I have Pete Alonzo's. I have Glaber Torres. I have, you know, all the rookies that are not, like most of the rookies, Tyler Stevenson, most of the rookies that are not Acuna, Soto, or, uh, or Tatis. And uh, I am looking to unload a bunch. And then there's a he Heineman rookie, Newberry rookie. Uh, I'd be willing to part with them for less than eBay prices. If you want to email me, feel free. I got two more of these, and then that'll be the end of the stream. Um, I do feel sorry for you, Nathan. I do. I feel for you, man. Um, it's going to be tougher. Uh, honestly, it's going to be a nationwide policy, I feel. It should be a nationwide policy um, with both Target and Walmart, where it's like only like one item per day. And let's be honest, the stuff doesn't really last until day two. Um, if it does, it's usually going to be like kind of the, the lower, lower end stuff on day two. And then by day three, it's kind of all gone. So, you know, that's just, don't get me wrong. It's, it's cool to be able to get something, but it, I don't know. Three three is so much better than, than one. One is just so little. It says here, I have never seen football cards, but they say we get them. Yeah, football and, and I used to collect football and uh football and basketball and baseball and sometimes a little bit of hockey as well but it's just so hard getting football and basketball i just can't can't make it work hockey i love as a sport but the problem is the way they have the young gun system where you only get one every four packs like you can get a blaster box and you're only guaranteed one maybe you're lucky you get two per box um it's some of the young guns it's just so hard to pull that it's just like it's not even worth it there's a uh, Eric Mejia. So yeah, um, there's my little rant. So, but base, I love baseball. Don't get me wrong. I would love to be able to get some football and some basketball too, but I'm just not going to pay the markup and stuff, but baseball I can get. Now when I say baseball, I had trouble getting Bowman last year. Um, and I have imagine, I imagine it's going to be tough to get Bowman this year too. 
Topps Chrome wasn't terribly easy to come by either. There's a Boba Shet. By the way, if you're watching this on the replay, feel free if you want to email me too. It's Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. If you're interested in, um, you know, rookies from the last three or four years, um, I would love to get rid of a bunch of them. And like I said, I have I have Vlad Guerrero's, I have uh, Alonzo's, Lux, Alvarez, Aquino, Horner, all those, all those guys. This year, uh, I recall the old days when the boxes were on the shelves. Yeah, the old days of it was like as early as like February of last year, February 2020. I remember when Series One came out. A little bit of a quick story Series One came out last year, uh, February of 2020. There was so much of it for so long that I was just like, um, well, obviously, I'm not going to buy all of it because that would just be ridiculous. But now, and honestly, for like the last eight or nine months, I feel like if I see stuff, I have to. I either I either buy it myself or I'll never see it again because someone else is going to buy all of it. And it's it's a terrible kind of like thing to have, but it's just a fact of life. I mean, but now now obviously you can't do that because they have limits. But I don't know. It's just weird how things have changed so much. But you know, I mean, I have I have two card shops close to me, and I go there and I look for singles because. I'm not going to buy a single pack from them. Their prices are insane. They're like, they mark them up. Like their eBay, eBay prices are higher. And I'm like, if I can get it delivered to my door, then that's what I'll do. Anyway, so back to it. We need to ask the universe. There's a rainbow foil. Let's have it be an Rosa Reina or a Grisham. Who is it going to be? Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier rainbow foil. Nothing against Todd Frazier, but we're on the hunt for a rookie. A rookie rainbow foil, and we got a Todd Frazier instead. So my apologies to Todd. Actually, no, I'm not going to apologize to Todd. Why would I apologize? That guy has been in the league for like, what, 20 years? And he's uh, he's made tons and tons of tons of buckarooskies. There's a Bo Bichette insert rookie card. There's a Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. You know what? You used to be able to go to the pharmacies, too, and get, and get cards. Um, you used to. And then now it's like you can't even... You can't even get those like garbage like Fairfield boxes a lot of the time. It's just Josh Jung. Um, it's hard to get the Fairfield boxes now. It's crazy. LOL, sorry. Yeah, Todd Frazier. I'm sure there's like a Todd Frazier maniac who's just all... Anyway, let's get back to it. A Rosarena, Grisham, Alvarez, Bichette. Poorly, poorly miscut. Look at that. Insanely miscut um, Rizzo. Tomlin. And man, it is, it is hard. It is hard out there trying to pull these crazy yellows. Um, Little League World Series. Hero. Todd Frazier. Todd Frazier. So this is it. This is the last of my stash until uh, more stuff comes in uh, the mail. But like I said, I'm probably going to – actually, no, let me show off some stuff that I got um, before I open this. Uh, stuff comes in the mail, and then it's going to go into my break. It's going to go into one, one or two of my breaks. So I was lucky enough. I opened these already, but I'll show you because you guys haven't seen them yet. Here's some National Baseball Card Day packs. Here's a Kikuchi. Buster Posey, Manny Machado, a Josh Bell, and a Bryce Harper in that pack. In this pack, it was very similar. The set's only like 30 cards, so there's a bunch of duplicates. I was hunting for autographs, which are super hard because they don't even put the uh, they don't even put the odds on the packs. That's how hard it is. They don't they don't want to like scare you off and make you feel make you feel bad and make you cry. Anyway. There's a John Means. There's an Acuna. Peralta Otani, who's playing really well. Oh, I have a bunch of Otani rookies, too. A bunch of them, man. Oh, I'm so glad he's playing well. Here's the tops of the class. Um, and there was nothing crazy, but there was a Justin May rookie card in this pack. Uh, uh, so let me show you. We've never seen the tops of the class. That is the back, and that is the front. Um, they had most of the big rookies last year, but there's your Dustin May. He'll dust you off with like a hundred mile per hour fastball. There's a Glaber, a Mookie Betts. There's a Trout. There's a Trout in every pack because it's a promo. Jose Barrios and a Correa. So here we go. Back to it is last hanger box magic. And then I will do a recap. Oh, let me tell you, I found I picked these up at the store too. Here's a first Bowman refractor. Um, never heard of the guy Jonathan Machado, but it's first Bowman rookie card autograph out of four ninety nine. 
Super cool. Um, this other one I picked up is a Ryan McMahon triple threads. Uh, obviously, it's got the threads and it's got the auto from last year, 2020, so not as rookie, um, but it is numbered out of 99. Look at that cool bad boy, huh? And then finally, this is from Bowman Platinum. This is an Andrew Vaughn autograph out of Bowman Platinum. Anyway, I was able to pick those up for very affordable amounts. Anyway, a Rosarena, Grisham, Bichette, Kyle Lewis, Alvarez, and Gavin Lux. Let's do it right now. You hope they have. Oh, yeah, it's in your hometown, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, I don't, I mean, it'd be cool if they had it. Um, that would be fantastic. I'm not sure how many people can travel all the way across the country. You know, things so much has just changed in the last in the last uh, year that it's just hard to hard to know. But uh, I think they were still planning on having the Olympics in Tokyo this year. Although that's going to be interesting. Um, Fraser finally promoted to the big club. Well, he should be promoted. The guy's been in the league. Isn't he like 40 years old or something? You shouldn't have him down in the minors. I mean, so here we go. Last. Pack magic one pack away from greatness. Uh, let's pull some yellow fire. Let's pull an autograph while we're at it. I mean, let's just go nuts. Let's just the, get the Rose Arena yellow. This is it. I don't have any more 2020 update. So it is it is this or bust. And let's hope it's not bust because I don't feel like busting. Double T, thank you for joining us. Double T has a channel. Go subscribe. He's also doing a break, maybe uh, um, maybe a couple of breaks. I'm not really sure. Um, I know he's doing at least one, but yeah, go check it out. It is a crazy, pretty amazing event to see in person. I imagine it would be. Uh, I mean, I've seen it on TV, of course. After this, I will be doing a recap, by the way, in case uh, you want to see the cards again or if you haven't seen them yet the first time. And like I said, um, after this, it's going to be pre-recorded videos for a while, and uh, there might be a break. Next weekend, there might not. I honestly have no idea yet. I have to run it by my wife and see if we have plans. Um, because I don't know if you guys operate by this principle, but happy wife equals happy life. And here we go. Save the middle stuff for last. Be cool to pull a, a rookie short print of uh, Kyle Lewis. Uh, I don't know if there's a Rosarena short print. Maybe there. Maybe there's a. I think there's a Luis Robert. Wouldn't that be fantastic? We pulled like the Luis Robert short print um, rookie variation. There's a Jesus Luzardo. There is a regular Kyle Lewis rookie debut. I think he just came off the injured list. Um, there is a Johnny Davis Degrom who just destroyed my team yesterday, like 15 strikeouts or something ridiculous. So let's see. Um, H W H L for life. One football break. Uh, Fifteen points by yes, sir. It says when the Redland PA team was there a few years ago, there were over fifty thousand people. That would be insane. I used to uh, I used to go to Montreal Expos games, and they didn't have fifty thousand people at the professional uh, games. The stadium, to be fair, the stadium doesn't fit fifty thousand. In, in Montreal, but they, they had a hard enough time trying to fill up the stadium they had. Anyway, we do have a rainbow foil. Let's hope it is a uh, a Rosarena or a Grisham. Let's see, and it is going to be Yadier Molina. Nothing against Yadi, but he is not a rookie. He's a cool player, but he is not a rookie. All right. I have Tom Glavin and Andre Dawson. We can make it up with the yellows. We can make it up the yellows right now. All right, prospect card is coming on up. Christian Pache for the Braves. That's the first one I pulled. All right, let's do it. A Rosarena and Grisham. Yellow. Ooh, we got a Mike Trout yellow. Not sure how much that goes for, but it's a Trout. Trout yellow. That might be worth the $11 for this hanger. I'm not really sure. There's a Kershaw for the Dodgers. Diego Castillo. And a Garrett Richard. So we didn't get 
any of the monsters. But let me do a recap of cool stuff in and around uh, the universe. Let me, uh, okay, let me go over the, the recap stuff for you. Um, thank you so much for joining, of course. We did pull this, uh, I don't know why it's taking so hard, so hard to get in the top loader, but there we go. So the Jesus Luzardo rookie debut, but this is not just a regular one. This is a refractor that is numbered out of 250. Man, I wish, uh, man, I wish it was a different rookie, but man, you know what? Out of 250. We had this Ernie Banks insert. We have a Yachty Molina pink. This Acuna pink. Uh, I just sleeved up a random trout card. There's a Kyle Lewis chrome. Out of this last one, we have a Christian Pache prospect card. Let me just go to the sleeved cards. Um, there's the Ken Griffey Jr. insert. We have the Todd Farasia rainbow foil. Bunch of, I uh, should have, should have, okay. Let me just go with the uh, sleeved cards because I'm a, I'm a fool. Opening day we had, oh, sorry. Uh, Shogo Akiyama. We have the Christian Pache from opening day, the Spencer Howard from opening day, Kiebert Ruiz and Dylan Carlson. We have the rookie of Brady Singer and Castellani. We have Joe Adele and Nico Horner, Christian Javier and Anderson Tejada, Santiago Espinal and Chris Bubik. We have Cody Whitley and Albert Abreu, Ian Anderson and Mitch White, Jesus Sanchez. We had the Miguel Cabrera Blue Foil. We also have uh, Bo Bichette, Hank Aaron insert, Kino, Randy Johnson, Stanton, Johnny bench next big one was his tyler glass now oh, so we got two blue foils out of one 10 blaster with now tucker Juan soto gold cup cedric mullins rookie loriano rookie Kopech rookie mcneil rookie and then the uh the other the other stuff we still got more um oh i should have the uh jordan alvarez rookie debut Got the yellow Mike Trout Walgreens parallel. Uh, we have the Yadi Molina rainbow foil. Kyle Lewis rookie debut. I noticed that most of the rookie debuts and update are in uh, the landscape format. I am not going to make the joke, but uh, Dustin Man Bo Bichette, uh, another Bo Bichette, Gavin Lux, uh, Kino, another Bo Bichette. Tyler Stevenson, Gavin Lux, uh, Mike Trout insert, Piazza, Miguel, a lot of Miguel Cabrera cards, man. Aquino and a Gavin Lux. Uh, one more thing, like I said, uh, I'm going to be doing probably a big card sale at some point. I'm not sure. But if you want to like beat the rush, if there's a team or a player that you happen to collect baseball-wise, um, like, for example, Gavin Lux or Jordan Alvarez or uh, Cody Bellinger or Gleyber Torres or Pete Alonso or Vlad Guerrero, um, people like that, like, Rookies that are not Soto, Tatis, or Acuna from like the last four or five years, feel free to email me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. I can send over pictures of what I have. Uh, I'm willing to part with them for slightly less than eBay would sell them to you for. Um, anyway, if you're not interested, I get it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, um, RVA, thank you for joining right at the end. Uh, the final announcement, you can you can scroll back and look. I just did a recap a couple minutes ago. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of cards that I want to sell. I have a whole bunch. I have Nationals. I have Victor Robles rookies. I have Carter Key Boom rookies. A whole bunch of other National stuff. I have other stuff like Boba Shat and Vlad Guerrero. Feel free to email me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Like I said, I'm willing to part with stuff for lower than eBay prices. Or you can just be on the lookout for a card sale announcement in the next couple of weeks or so. Um, like I said, not huge plans. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to have more packs coming in the mail, and I will be doing another break at some point in the next couple of weeks. I just don't know when. Um, eh, Caesar and Kevin's Landscape Company. Hey, anyway, thank you so much for joining. Like I said, there is a recap in the last like seven minutes or so that goes over everything that happened in the last hour. Uh, thanks for joining me, and take care. Bye.